Welcome back everyone. So today we will be unboxing the Aftershocks Titanium Mini and we will also be pairing them. Well, we'll try and pair them with the Garmin Phoenix 6 watch. So first things first, let's unbox it. Okay, so these are the minis. Uh, they are exactly the same as the normal titanium, but this is supposed to be a little bit smaller. Um, they do have a chart available online for you guys to see and measure your head and see which one suits you more. Okay, so these ones are generally for children and women. Okay, so we got that sorted. Alrighty, so on first glance, it's pretty, pretty sleek. I got the gray ones, so I guess that's the play and pause button. We have a USB chargeable uh, port, plus, minus sound. Okay, let's see what's else in the box. Titanium. Well, not much we can understand here. So, let's see what it says. Instructions for Bluetooth connection. When turned off, press the plus button for five seconds. Five seconds is a very long time. <laughs> Don't let go. Mm hmm. Okay, we'll do that later. We'll do that in a second. Let's see what, what else is in the box. Aftershock. Open this up. I guess this is the charger. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so it's just your standard USB charger. So I can actually go ahead and grab something. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is my Samsung charger, my Samsung phone charger. And basically what you can do is unplug it. And if you don't want to, or if you don't have a computer to plug it into, you can just use one of these as an adapter and off you go. So it should be fine. Oh, nice. So it's a very nice material of a case. Aftershocks. So I guess they can just fit in there nicely and done so this may be a little bit bulky because you won't be able to put this in your pocket um, so this is quite firm whereas if you guys uh, don't need a mini version I wouldn't actually go for the titanium I would go for something newer like the Iropex the Iropex they're so thin and they're so flexible you can literally just Sample it like that and put it in your pocket. Uh, whereas these ones, they're a little bit older, so it's a more solid build. So I really wish they would do a mini version for the Iropex or um, just any new ones that don't have this thing to flick up and down. <laughs> and so this is actually more flexible. Um, but okay, so let's have another look what else we have in here. And then we can proceed to turning them on. So just maintenance and storage. Okay. And there's one more thing. Why? I really don't understand why. Is it like if you go swimming or like you don't want any other sound? So if you want to block off any other sound, you wear these and you wear that. But the whole point of these, why I got these, I really don't want anything inside my ear when, so I can actually hear people as well as listen to music. So that's a little bit awkward, but okay. Let's turn them on, shall we? 
I'll just get my watch off. Press and hold the plus for five seconds. One, two, three, five. Aha, that's it. So now we have to get these. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to um, press on this button here and we're going to hold it. Because if you don't, it's just going to go up. So press, oops, sorry. So press and hold. There we go. So we have the watch face, clocks. We don't need that. Current activity, widgets, controls, face, music. That's what we want. So click select. Providers, no. Headphones, yes. Add new. Searching, searching, searching. Look at that. Select to add. Connecting. Connected. Okay. Uh, let's give it a go now. So I do have a little bit of sound here. Um, music. Okay, I'm excited to put them on now. Easy. So you can either push, play, or pause on your device, so such as a mobile phone or the watch, or you can actually push play and pause over here. Easy. Let's put them on, give them a go. So does anything look suspicious at all? Because the sound is on max and I am wearing the aftershocks. Here they are. You can't even see them when your hair is down. That's the cool thing and there are no wires. So, so I'll turn the volume on to max right now. So I cannot hear if there's any leakage, uh, sound leakage. So I think there is a little bit of leakage possibly. I have no idea if you guys can hear any sound leakage or not. Uh, right now the volume is on to max. The good thing is when my hair is down, you can't even notice that there's anything. This bulge is because I wear hair ties, not because of the headphones. So it's pretty comfortable and if I jump around, I really don't feel them falling off or anything. Um, but, and I'm not worried about, I'll just pause this. It's really hard for me to hear myself. <laughs> um, so I'm not worried about doing weights and all that. What I'm worrying about is cardio. Um, because if you're jumping around or you're changing directions really fast, will they fall off? I don't know. Uh, so we're gonna go and have a little go at some cardio. We're gonna skip and rope, do some cartwheels, do some hand walks, see if they fall off or not. So I'm outside and it is quite windy, so I'm going to comment after the whole thing, probably at home. So we're gonna put these babies on. Okay, sweet, let's go have a workout. So I'm gonna push play and we're good to go.
So first impressions, I love them. Um, compared to any other headpiece, these are so far the most comfortable that I have worn. Was there a sound leakage? Yes, there was. I watched a little bit of the clips and it's actually pretty bad, like the sound leakage. If it's up to max volume, you can kind of feel a little tingling sensation on your uh, cheekbone if the sound's up to max. And I honestly wouldn't listen to music at a full max sound. Um, but just so we could see how much sound leakage there is, I did put the volume up to max and you could hear it quite distinctly, like you could hear the words of the song. Um, so sound leakage is one thing to worry about. Other than that, I did rolls, I did hand walks and they did not fall off or I didn't even have to touch them or anything. But so far I have only been wearing them in a more quiet environment without any extra sound. So I do want to try them out in a gym as well with other people around and see how that goes. So yeah, I'm gonna try it in various environments as well and let you guys know how that goes. But so far I'm loving it. So pretty impressed so far. I'll give them another week or two and I might do an update video.